It doesn't matter what vehicle you have, a 4Runner, a Ram, or even an F-150. If you've just recently purchased the Alpharex Pro Series and you've noticed that the halogen bulb is not very bright, you probably want to upgrade to an HID kit. Well, there's a lot on the market and some are not nearly as good as some others. So in this video, I'm going to put four HID kits up to one another and figure out which one is the best for your Pro Alpharex headlight. Now there's three different headlight housings when it comes to the Alpharex headlights. The Pro, the Nova, and the Lux. An HID kit is a tried and true method for increasing light output. But remember, even though HID bulbs work well in these headlights, they are technically not street legal. We actually recommend a street legal housing like the Morimoto XP, the Alpharex Nova series, or Alpharex Lux. If you're using a vehicle for a dedicated off-road application, or in a different country, this information about upgrading your halogen bulbs to HID is just fine. If you're struggling to figure out which color HID bulb is right for you, we have a video on that and the benefits of each Calvin color. And if you want to learn more about which ballast is right for you, or if you want to learn what's better, HID or LED and the pros and cons, check out the videos on YouTube because we've gone in depth on this topic. So now let's get to the fun part. What does the light outputs look like from all four different HID kits? We've got a kit from Morimoto, one from GTR Lighting, one from Zentech, and another one, Innovated. Now, why are we upgrading to HID and not recommending an LED bulb? Well, with the Alpharex headlights, it's really hard to get an LED bulb that's worth it in here. There's just not enough room. You can use a really small LED bulb, but even that doesn't really give you an upgrade over your original light. So our recommendation is to definitely use an HID bulb instead of an LED bulb. Now here's the crazy thing. A lot of people buy the Alpharex Pro series to save some cash, and then they end up trying to make the LED headlight bulbs or HID kits work. The sad reality is that most LED headlight bulbs don't fit in the Alpharex Pro headlights because the projectors are too small. So the only option you're left with is HID. In this video, you're going to see that the cheap HID kits out there are actually less bright than stock, and the really good HID kits aren't really that much better. In another video, we actually compared the light output of the Alpharex Nova, Lux, and Pro Series headlights, and you can see that the Nova and Lux are way brighter than the Pro Series. If you're dead set on Alpharex, but you're concerned about brightness, I think you should just buy a good headlight from the start. If you get the Pro Series and you try to upgrade it, it's not going to go as well as you think. So how do we measure an HID bulb to one another? Well, we use a digital lux meter. This right here measures the actual usable brightness at a certain point. Now, we're gonna back the table up about 25 feet from the wall. We're gonna measure the actual usable brightness of the original halogen bulbs, and then we're gonna get to the HID bulbs. So let's start with our benchmark, the original halogen bulbs. Luckily, no matter what headlight housing that you have, they use the same projectors, so you're gonna have the same light output. The internals of every single housing are exactly the same. On low beam, they come in at 390 maximum lux. That's not that bad when it comes to brightness, but the color is terrible. Obviously, you don't want this dingy looking yellow or orangish color as your light output, especially if you have a newer vehicle. On high beam, it comes in at 1,120 maximum lux. So let's start with this first HID kit, Innovate or Innovit. I don't know why it's spelt this way, but it is. The low beam comes in at 280 maximum lux. That is less bright than your original halogen bulbs. You're literally watching this video to find a light that's better than your original lights, and obviously this is not it. So do not get an Amazon bulb like this because it's 28% less bright than your original low beam. The Innovit HID on a high beam comes in at 1,120 maximum lux. So it's actually the exact same brightness as your original halogen high beams. That's a no-go, let's keep moving on. The next bulb we tested is from Zentech. These ones were even worse. First thing you'll notice different is the color. They call these the ultra white. We're trying to get something around 6,000 K. If you can look on the wall, that's definitely not 6,000K. In person, it's almost blue. This is what you get when you just order a random HID bulb from Amazon or eBay. I know you're gonna think that I'm just blowing smoke, but the high beam literally did not work. We generally only order one kit from Amazon or eBay to do these comparisons, and this one just so happened to be burnt out. The bulb does not work. It was not the ballast, it was the bulb. So unfortunately, in this test, I cannot show you the high beam. 
Now at Headlight Revolution, we do a ton of different HID bulb testing. One that I know is really good and generally comes out on top is a Morimoto 55 watt HID kit. On low beam, it comes in at 430 maximum lux. That is 10% brighter than your original bulbs. Now your original halogen bulbs were pretty bright. These ones are 10% brighter, but they also give you that beautiful bright white color. It's gonna really make the vehicle look a lot more modern. You have a brand new headlight assembly you just bought. Why would you want that dingy color light output? That's the last thing you want. This bright white 6000K color will definitely upgrade your driving experience. On high beam, they come in at 2,320 maximum lux. So if you wanna talk about upgrades, the high beam HID kit from Morimoto is 107% brighter than your original halogen high beam. Another good HID kit that you could upgrade to from your original halogen bulbs is the GTR lighting 55 watt kit. This one on low beam comes in at 420 maximum lux, which is 7% brighter than your original low beam. And on high beam, it comes in at 2030 maximum lux. That's 81% brighter than your original bulbs. The GTR lighting or the Morimoto HID kit is not only the best quality, but much brighter than your original halogen bulbs. So at the end of the day, if you do want to upgrade the halogen bulbs in your Alpha Rex Pro Series headlights to an HID kit, it is a good idea. Just make sure you're using that vehicle for off-road use only. Also, if you're struggling to figure out which headlight is right for your vehicle when it comes to Alpha Rex headlights, Chris does an in-depth review going over the Lux, the Nova series, and the Pro series. It tells you the pros and cons and everything in between. If you want to see what else we have for your vehicle, go to headlightrevolution.com, type in your year, make, and model. You'll see all sorts of things from headlights to taillights, interior lights, fog lights, and more.